Infection, prevention of infection in patients with a normal spleen. What happens is the antigen comes from here in through the splenic artery and it enters into the white pulp. In white pulp, we have some dendritic cells. Dendritic cells are uh, ha are cells which have many dendrites and they have special kind of APCs, anti -presenting, antigen presenting cells, which have MHC2. These MHC2 bind to the antigen that has come from the splenic artery and they activate the mm -hmm. TH cells. So the TH cells are activated. These TH cells migrate to the marginal zone. The marginal zone is between the white pulp and the red pulp. So in the marginal zone, marginal zone is rich in B cells. So these B cells are activated in the marginal zone. Uh, B cells activate and form plasma cells and then form secondary follicles and germinal centers which then uh, leads to production of antibodies which migrates through the veins into the body and fight against the antigen. These antibodies by B cells lead to phagocytosis of the pathogenic organi organism by opsonization. But if a patient is asplenic without any spleen, then there will be risk of uh, increased infection, mainly increased infection by encapsulated bacteria. Main encapsulated bacteria that you have to remember always is capsule shines, S-H-I-N-E. We all we have to remember SHN, Streptococcus pneumoniae, H influenza, and N meningitis.